DNA editing enzymes are important but potentially dangerous proteins within the cell. When not tightly regulated, they can alter the DNA in the genome inappropriately, causing high levels of mutation and DNA damage that can lead to cancer. Understanding more about how these enzymes behave could be instrumental in developing new cancer treatments and diagnostics. ApoBec3b, or A3b, is one well-characterized DNA editing protein that has been implicated in several cancers. A related enzyme, ApoBec3a, or A3a, has also been suspected as a potential mutagen, but its contribution to mutagenesis in cancers has been unclear. This study showed that A3a is not only capable of causing mutations in cancer genomes, like A3b, but that it actually does so at a much higher rate and in a distinct pattern. The authors also found evidence that A3a may be involved in many types of cancer in humans, and that it likely plays an even more important role than the previously recognized A3b, potentially making it an important target for future cancer therapies and diagnostics. By expressing A3a and A3b separately in yeast, the authors found that these enzymes target similar but not identical DNA sequences in the genome. The authors also discovered that A3a and A3b leave distinct patterns of mutations or mutation signatures that can be differentiated using genome sequencing data analysis. Such analysis of recently published genome sequence data from multiple samples of human bladder, breast, lung, and head and neck cancers revealed that many of these samples had signatures of A3A or A3B mutagenesis, with A3A-like signatures being more common. Interestingly, the cancers with more A3A-like signatures had over 10 times more ApoBec-type mutations than the cancers with A3B-like signatures. This difference in mutagenic potency is consistent with the difference in how A3A and A3B interact with DNA, as A3A is more likely to induce breaks in the DNA strand. These findings have important clinical implications for diagnosis and prognosis. Either signature could indicate a risk of cancer, and the A3A signature in particular would indicate a more mutation-prone cancer, which could be more aggressive or difficult to treat. Future research should assess potential therapeutic strategies that either repress A3A and A3B or, counterintuitively, actually increase their activity in the cancer cells in order to cause levels of DNA damage and mutation that are lethal to the cancer cells.